so good. Uh, well, hello there. Welcome to the land of Christmas. Are you here to see Santa? Santa? I love Santa. I'm Jamie the Reindeer. I'm Dasher's understudy. Well, now that you've met Jamie for the first time, and Santa's a little busy right now, how about I tell you all about Christmas and what makes it so... Special? Awesome? Extraordinary? Sure. Did you know that the average adult in the United States plans on spending $400 on Christmas shopping each year? Well, it turns out they actually end up spending around $750, which helps to contribute to the over $600 billion spent on gifts no one really needs each year. Imagine what we could do with $600 billion! Donate to charities! Snow cannons! Help my paycheck! Decorations! Buy a plane ticket as far away from my past as possible! Christmas tree! Or maybe hire a new ranger who isn't a complete- And speaking of Christmas trees, can you guess how much their retail value is annually? 1.32 billion dollars! Over 26 million real Christmas trees were purchased in 2015. But, Jamie, did you know that an average of 170 house fires are started by burning Christmas trees each year? Turn off those Christmas lights at night, kids! So, how did this money-making scheme called Christmas actually begin? How did I end up working here with the replacement reindeer and with Brian the Mall Santa? <laughs> Tell him about the real Santa! Do it! Do it! Fine. The story of Santa is based on a real man known as Saint Nicholas. Saint Nick lived in Mira, a town in modern-day Turkey, and he was known as the protector of both children and the poor. One of Saint Nicholas's most famous deeds was when he saved three poor girls from a life of prostitution by throwing three bags of gold through an open window and into their socks drying by the chimney. They were able to use the money as dowries and were able to marry out of poverty. Whoa, is this how stockings came to be? Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'd give you a cookie, but you ate them all. Clearly, Saint Nick was a really great guy, but then he died. <laughs> However, even after he passed away in 7th century AD, his legend continued to live on in stories told throughout the centuries. <laughs> Mommy, I'm scared! Don't be scared. The, the doctors say I'm probably not contagious. <laughs> By the end of the 18th century, Christmas was widely celebrated throughout Europe, with festivals celebrating Jesus. St. Nicholas's legend made a big comeback in the 18th century when Dutch settlers brought who they called Sinterklaas to the U.S. Sinterklaas rode a white horse and left special presents in their wooden shoes. The character of Sinterklaas morphed with the British character Father Christmas, who was said to leave treats and stockings on Christmas Eve, which eventually led to the Americanization of Santa Claus. But Santa didn't always look this way. Oh yeah! Originally, he was described in many different fashions, anywhere from wearing a blue three-cornered hat with a red waistcoat and yellow stockings, to wearing a broad-rimmed hat and a huge pair of Flemish trunk hose. In 1823, Clement Clark Moore, an American poet, wrote the poem The Night Before Christmas, describing Santa as being plump rather than skinny, and jolly, and dressed in fur. Everybody loved it so much, it was almost like overnight Santa became a pop culture icon. That's my favorite Santa outfit. He's my favorite. Yeah, ouch. It also detailed how Santa would climb down the chimney to deliver gifts and how he rode in the sleigh pulled by eight flying reindeer. Reindeer. One day I might get to pull Santa's sleigh. Not if you're ten feet under. <laughs> In 1931, Coca-Cola commissioned artist Hadon Sundblom to illustrate Christmas advertisements for magazines. Sundblom created the iconic image of the Santa we know today. Ha! Take that, Pepsi! So that brings us to today! How did I end up here in a mall working with this fake Santa instead of the real guy? Hey, it's not that bad. We have a hot cocoa bar. I'd prefer an open bar. Where? where? <laughs> My baby! <laughs> and I thought I had a problem. Shops began advertising Christmas shopping in the early 19th century. In 1841, a shop in Philadelphia featured a life-size Santa Claus model. This model was so popular that thousands of children lined up to see it. Soon shops started to attract swarms of children, and more importantly, their parents, by featuring live Santas. Just like Brian! So, thanks to advertising and willing parents, here I am getting paid to lead children just like you up to see Santa Claus. Well, 
I guess Santa's lap is free now. Come on and let's go meet him. Don't forget to smile. I know your parents want to buy our $40 picture packet. Hop up, little one. Don't be frightened. Uh, uh, 